If you're a Mass Effect Odyssey, it's no secret how much we loved Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC, and I'm sure we aren't alone in loving it. It was a perfect send off for the trilogy with heart, sentiment, and emotion, but of course, humour. Hi, it's Zuma from Mass Effect Odyssey, and today I'm going to be counting down the Citadel DLC's 10 funniest moments. These aren't in any particular order and are purely our opinion, so we hope you enjoy it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I don't know about you, but the two of the best characters in the trilogy has to be Grunt and Rex. They're very similar, but representing two different aspects of the Krogan culture. These two are sensational on their own, but when you get them drinking and talking, you get a repetitive and awesome back and forth between the Krogans and Shepard surrounding Shepard's name that personally I could watch for hours, as it's kind of mesmerizing. Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepherd! Shepherd! Shepherd? Grunt? The Citadel DLC isn't very serious, we know that, but even some of the most seemingly serious moments, such as when the team are trying to break into the casino, aren't really safe from James Vega's munchies, which is a running thread throughout the DLC. Enter the pizza delivery, Volus? What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. Seth Green's Joker has never shied away from comedy throughout the series, with his sarcastic and self-aware brand of humour, and the Citadel DLC is no exception. In this scene, Joker finds himself not part of the joke when in order to save Brooks and take down the Cat-6 operatives, Shepard uses Joker as a distraction, much to Joker's dismay. Stay there! I'm coming! Joker! Ow! My pancreas! Hey! Damn it! Got one, sir. Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Hey! Oh. You used me as bait? Go. We've already shared how much we love this particular scene, but this one's all Shepard. Both Mark Muir and Jennifer Hill nail Shepard as they are conflicted with some doubt about their favourite tagline while locked away in the archives, all the while where their companions are a little bemused. I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. And now maybe let's turn our attention to the impregnable vault that we've just been sealed in forever. I'm more confident than he is. More in control. With me, it's more like, that's all for now. Spoken like a Krogan. Show who's boss. I'm gonna guess we've got an hour of air in here, tops. Or sometimes, I'll talk to you later. Because you know what? I never do. Leave him wanting more. Shepard, hey, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there?
Blaster the First Hanar Spectre is one of those little gems of the Mass Effect universe that makes it so endearing. A giant jellyfish that acts and exploits Shepard's adventures for movies and has starred in such wonders such as Blasto the Jellyfish Stings and Blasto Saves Christmas. The icing on the cake though is when Shepard joins Javik at the filming of Blasto 7, Blasto Goes to War, which seems to be a pretty purely disorganised production where they encounter an egotistic Blasto who doesn't want to share screen time. Plus with Blasto being portrayed by Mark Mir, you have to love the craziness in this scene. This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory senses. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of him. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. There's not much to say about this scene other than the sharing of multiple hilarious reactions by your crew when Edie malfunctions on the way to the Normandy. Personally, I think Garrus' simple reaction takes the cake. Shepard, your clone has entered the ship and is attempting to... Crap. I'm okay. Really? After the destruction of the sushi restaurant at the start of the DLC, most of your friends make it a point to remind you that you are responsible for destroying the best sushi joint in the whole of the Citadel, relentlessly so, and that even marine life isn't safe from Commander Shepard. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. I'm fine, by the way. Glad to hear it. Try not to destroy any more of my childhood memories. In the Citadel DLC, you get to catch up with all present and past teammates for some bonding. Whether it be having dinner with Caden, drinking with Garrus, watching dramas with Tally, or even doing some online shopping with Edie, you get a real sense of how much these characters mean to you and Shepard. But probably the best meetup has to be when you bail out Grunt from a pretty chaotic birthday night out that involved noodles, fires and falling through windows, which shows how much we really do love Grunt. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. <laughs> you have to feel for Joker with all the awesome heroic characters that are part of Shepard's crew, he must sometimes feel a little overshadowed. And this becomes overly apparent when he's trying to talk his way out of buying drinks with an epic tale complete with service agents, all voiced by Joker, and the catchphrase, it's joking time. Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> This, it's joking time. Oh, we were fools to underestimate Joker, oh no! Yes, you were. The entire run through the archives is amazing, not only because of the gameplay and the story and the little easter eggs along the way, 
but one of the best parts of the archives is the banter back and forth between Team Hammerhead and Team Mako. Not only is this because this is probably the only time you get to experience nearly all your friends in the same mission at the same time, but you also get to hear how the Cat 6 operatives react to the legends at work. Uncle Urkot is back in town, and he demands the book to mess with me. Is that a catchphrase or something, Rex? Thought I'd try it out. See what you think. Try again! Uncle Urkot has a present for you! So we hope you enjoyed some of our favourite funniest moments from the Citadel DLC. There were so many to pick from that we couldn't really include them all in this list. For example, Zaid and Garrus' booby trapping of your apartment, or Trainer's sonic toothbrush. So let us know which other moments from the Citadel DLC you loved in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and please share this video to help the channel grow, and as always, we look forward to seeing you next time.